So in this uh, short movie we're going to have a look at how we create an undrawn part and then at a later time add a CAD model into that undrawn part record. So to create an undrawn part we right click on parts, we give our part a name, so it's going to be a manufactured component and we fill in attribute information about the part. Once we've completed that, we click on OK. And if we have a look at my recent items, here's the part record that we've just created. Now what we need to do is to keep a note of this part number. So if we open the properties of this, and I'm just going to copy that part number um, so that I can use it later. If we now go to our CAD system, I'm just going to load up this model that I've created earlier and we're going to store that into DDM. Select Save and uh, I still have the number generator switched on but I'm going to bypass my auto numbering using this non sequenced rule and now where I'm being prompted for the part number I'm going to paste in the part number of the non drawn part that I created earlier. I'm not going to fill in a description because I'm going to use the description and attributes that I created earlier. So the important thing is when saving into a non-drawn part record, the name and issue must be exactly the same as the non-drawn part record. If I click on OK, I get a message that says I'm unable to create the object because this already exists. Um, do you want to generate another number? I'm going to say no. Existing part is a non-drawn part. Save into this part. I say yes. Uh, and I'm now prompted to keep the existing non-drawn part properties. So that's my description and other attributes. So I say yes to that. Now that save has been completed. If I have a look at the properties of the part, you can see that I have uh, a file version stored. So my CAD model is stored. I have a preview and my original attributes have been retained. So that concludes this short movie on creating non-drawn parts and saving CAD models into non-drawn part records in DDM.